Hello guys, in this video we will learn about assertion. Assertions are a way of validating conditions and then they will throw exceptions or handle errors when a condition is not met. So let's have an example and see how, what's that meant to be. We are going to the following. So let's say we have a variable it's called data and then this data is an array. And then if we say like if isn't array data, then you would throw an exception throw a new exception so you would say data is not an array so that's typically what you would do when you check and make sure that the data passed in is always true as you expect it to be now suppose you would have also another check like if you say if main isn't instance of main class main class then you would also throw an exception throw new exception and this time you would say object passed in is not a type type of main or is not of main type so now you throw an exception so we are getting error here so if we run the shell we are getting an error this is very strange behavior of php recently so i'm running on php4 so if you wrap it by brackets then it would work um line 17 so it still is not working you would go here and then run it and extract it in a variable class equals this and then instance of class and that should be working now if i say this main is not main i will say new class std class equals new std class and then if i say std class passed in and i expect it to be instance of main this should throw an error which this one so if i run the shell i will get this error you would see this is going to be over and over again and there will be some tools to assert the condition to be true uh, to your expectation if we get rid of all these if statements and then a native php method is called assert if we call it and now we say is is array and then just put an array here now if we run this script nothing happened but if we say if we put a string and then we run so it's not very useful message it just said assert is array failed it tells you that the construct the method is printed out and it says it failed in validating that the array is array so this is failing but if you put it back as an empty array, it will also work. So this is how you assert uh, values to your expectation. But the assert is not very useful here, is it? Because it doesn't tell you much about it. It doesn't throw an error. And it's only a warning. And it's not a... So if we bring it back to an error, it gives you a warning. It doesn't give you like a... It doesn't kill the PHP script. It just keeps running. And what you want is to stop at this point, maybe. Or you want a better information, a better error message. The way we can do it is we can create our own assertions how to create our own assertions is by either creating a method for example function assert is array and then you pass in value and then you put maybe a message error message and now this will return void and i would say if isn't array value then i would throw new invalid argument exception and i would say like value in argument one must be of type array now this is how you do it and then you come below and then assert array assert is array and then just pass a empty array and if you run the script to a few arguments because we need an error message so this error message will be null by default and nothing happened but if we pass it like string and then we don't pass we don't use the message here anyway if we assert arrays here but the, we pass in as a string in the value then we will throw an error and this is a fatal error so it's not like the assert the assert will give you a the assert will give you a warning message but this is giving you new, giving you the fatal error which means it kills the php script and it doesn't run 
any further down the line now you can create this by methods or you can create your own class and you assert values let's go ahead and create our class so if i go to the navigator and then go pop code php training and i create my assert class and create the assert class class assert i will create like a public static method and then assert is array then i pass in the value and then the string message will be empty of course this will be void and then if i say if is not array value then throw new exception and i put a message say for example the message will be here msg equals message or i just say put invalid value to be an array now i'll put here the msg now you can see we are asserting the array if we go back to the shell script in the shell script i will say assert assert is array and then I'll pass in data this should work just fine without error but if I put a string in here then I would fail fatal error exception with this one 15 now I should see here I should see an ex uncaught accepted accepted so on line 15 doesn't read it because this is not null if I put null as default invalid value to be an array now this is how you create assertions and you can put assertions for is object is true is false is array is empty array assert not empty assert empty assert map or is map so you can create a lot of assertions and instead of using if statements now you can use the assertion now we have done this we can also look at php packages let's say for example we go here in the github and then we use the web mozart assert so we can install this package and then we use it it assert as integer asserts greater than it has a lot of assertions like string we'll check if value is string string not empty integer integerish like the value is as a string but it's one two three is integer numeric natural boolean scala resource so a lot of assertions in this package now what you we can do here is you go to the composer require and copy it and then just run the composer now it is installed what i'm going to do here we will need to use it in the script so i'm not going to use the assert we created but what instead we can use the assert from mozart assert and this will be like if i use instance of the instance of the main class and also i will put main class now i need the full path for this one now if i run the shell give me no error but if i say new std class it will give me error it shall give me an error now you can see uncaught invalid argument exception expected an instance of php training main got std class so this is very helpful uh, library to give you what the error is give you a lot of information about it and also you have a bunch of helper methods like you can have is iterable is countable so for example if we go here and then we say here as main so we're not failing i will also need to use this let's make sure it's working now if i use assert is iterable and then give it an array let's see how that's gonna work that's good because the array you can iterate through the array and also assert not empty now not empty this time will give us an error because this array is empty and we give it non empty to assert it as not empty so if we run the script will give us an error expected a non empty value got array so if we put something like php and then run it nothing happened and you can also read through the class and see a lot of assertions you can assert whether a condition is valid and it meets your expectation and it will reduce a lot of if statements and uh, i think it will be very helpful package to use i think this is it if you find it useful please like and subscribe and i see you next time